oh, look, you always want to take wickets, you know. I mean, obviously, I always want to take wickets. I want to take all bloody ten, I won't lie. But um, I'm never upset, you know. I'm, I'm happy when we bowl teams out and, and guys get wickets. That is the main object of the game, is to get 20 wickets. And I don't care how we get them. We just need to get 20 wickets. Uh, from a personal side, like I said, I want to take all 10 myself, all 20 myself. So it is a little bit upsetting when you don't get one. But it just means that, you know, you just got to keep trying. You know, that's just, that's the game. That's cricket. So... Like I said, there was nothing special about today. I was just lucky enough that I found the edge and I was a little bit more consistent in, in my lines, I guess, uh, and, and lengths. So I probably got a little bit more reward today than I, than I would have yesterday because I was probably just a little bit more inconsistent yesterday. I didn't deserve them yesterday. I deserve them today. Um, look, those two are the big players, I think, for them. They're massive players. Marlon and, and Shiv, massive, massive wickets to take. Uh, that's not to say that the rest of the guys can't contribute, but... I think we know that those are the two big, big wickets for us to get. And once we get that, there is probably a little bit more of a, an ease or a, a feeling of ease going into the rest of the guys, um, especially on this wicket. It's, it might play massively different in, in PE. That wicket's a lot flatter, uh, so we're going to have to be more on the money there. But this wicket always offered us something. If you just landed the ball in the right area like Vernon did yesterday and like I did today, that it's a matter of time before any batter, not just their batters, but any batter, our batters, um, you name it, go out and bat on this wicket with the ball new, doing a little bit like that. It's a matter of time before you get them out. But those two guys in particular are big wickets. And, and you know with the rest, if you, just, if you just land it there enough times, you're probably going to come right. Very happy to be playing tests. Um, yeah, just one day has kind of just got too much. You know, like there's a massive uproar about the World Cup. And, and I think, you know, if you're just focusing so much on it, like by the time you get there, you, you're exhausted. You know, you're like, oh, I'm over it, man, you know. <laughs> So these three test matches is a great opportunity to just get back into a little bit of a longer version, uh, get fit again, you know, get over the 10-over the barrier, you know, like can you bowl 20 overs in a day? Yesterday was, was, was tough. You know, that field, it rained a lot. It was quite soggy out there. Um, it's like running in on sea sand. So, you know, if you spend all day out there, I, said it, I joked and said, so we bowled 60 of the first overs and we fielded everything, the bowlers, because the slips just stand there. They don't do nothing, <laughs> you know. I stand in the middle, I'm chasing balls, and fine leg, I'm going across. So we did all the cricket yesterday. These guys did nothing. Um, apart from Alviro, who took a couple of good catches. You also took a good catch. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice break, just to get back into the whites, get the red ball going, get a little bit of consistency in your lines and lengths again, and then look forward to that World Cup, because it's a massive World Cup. We're all looking forward to it. Obviously, first finish those, the ODIs and the 2020s that we have to play, but this is a great break. I love playing test cricket. Honestly, it's the best. Honestly, there's nothing better than it. I wish I could swear. I'm so happy and passionate about it.